The Torah tells us in Revi'i that upon the birth of Yosef, Yaakov's 11th son, he told of Lavan of his desire to return to Canaan. Why? Rashi, quoting from the Midrash Rabbah, explains that Yaakov prophetically understood that Yosef's birth would allow him to finally be able to successfully confront his brother Asa, from whom he'd been hiding all of those years. As the prophet Ovadia foresaw, that the house of Yaakov shall be a fire, and the house of Yosef a flame. And then the house of Esav would be strong. Fire that Yaakov represented. If it doesn't have the flame that Yosef represented, it has no effect at a distance. Only a fire with the energy of a flame can destroy the straw. And therefore, Yaakov felt comfortable. He felt confident. That with the birth of Yosef, Beit Yosef Lahava, the flame that he now possessed, would be able to give him the strength to confront and to defeat his hostile brother, Esav. Rabbi Menachem B'Sex Zatzal in his Sefer Menachem Tzion offers an explanation for the symbolism of this Esh in the Lahava, the fire of Yaakov and the flame of Yosef. He explains that confronting evil requires the balance of two generally conflicting characteristics patience and calculated thinking on the one hand, and on the other hand, passion and energy. Generally, people in their youth possess the flame of Yosef, the energy and the passion to achieve, but lack the fire of Yaakov, that patience and dis discipline. Conversely, many adults develop the discipline, but at the expense of their youthful, idealistic passion. Yaakov understood that to triumph over Esav required both, what Rabbi Sachs called the koach hazikna, the strength of maturity and wisdom of Yaakov, alongside the koach haneurim, the emotion and the passion of Yosef. Only then can Esav once and for all be defeated. These two strengths, the koach of zikna and the koach haneurim, both the strength of maturity and wisdom, the patience, alongside with the passion of Yosef, is something we've seen in recent weeks with the attack of Tzahal into Gaza. They did so carefully, and they're doing so carefully. And yet at the very same time, they're doing it with a sense of purpose, the passion that this is necessary for us to survive. The Koach HaZikna and the Koach HaNeurim together is a power, the power of Yaakov and Yosef, the power that will allow us not only to defeat our enemies, but to reach new and greater heights.